All right, it's 814. Got them out for the first time this morning. Let's have some coffee. Oh! Oh man. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to pour a cup of coffee. Literally, 815. Wow, maybe it's going to be a good bite today. It's December 17, 2023. I'm on the upper end of the uh, uh, grand arm of Truman Lake this morning. Going to do a little catfishing. Air temperature was cold when I started out this morning, about 32 degrees. But it's supposed to warm up during the day. It's supposed to be light winds, clear skies. Uh, the water temperature right now is 43.7 degrees. I'm going to see if we can catch a few. Stay with me. There he's back. Yeah. He finally came back and got it. If that's the same fish. Not all that big. Probably the same one. But I do appreciate him biting right off the bat like that. Gives me confidence in my spot. Little blue cat. Be a nice little keeper fish if I was keeping any, but I'm not. That came on a side piece. I've got uh, three side pieces, three head pieces. I've got three rods with uh, floats on them and three that are just a Carolina rig on the bottom. So three Sandy Coopers, two are Demon Dragon floats, one's just a peg float. Again, I'm setting up here on a mud flat right next to a channel. It's The channel's running right out in front. I'm throwing in it. There was a lot of fish in it when I pulled in here. Uh, it's 19 feet deep out there. I'm sitting in six feet. I got my power poles down in the back. I got my power pole micro anchor in the front. So I'm just sitting out here in the middle of this flat throwing in the channel. That's the deepest water around this whole area up here. Uh, 19 feet in the channel is as deep as you're going to get. There's a fish. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't even have to reel down on him. He took it. Need to quit talking and start fishing. I see that'd be on the side piece too. Maybe they're going to Oh, got one here. Oh, got that one on too. Okay, we got two. Yeah! Maybe it's going to be a good day. This one's a little bigger. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to throw him in. He's on a little peg float. See if we still got this one. Yep. That one's talking to me. Got some duck hunters in the background. Boy, what a beautiful morning. Okay, we got three out of the six rods. You know, that's interesting. All three of these fish are on a side piece. Three side pieces, three head pieces. The three side pieces go down. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. One of them on a demon dragon, one of them on a peg float, one of them just on the Carolina rig on the bottom. I know one thing I'm gonna be putting some side pieces back on. If this keeps up, they'll all be side pieces. All right. Another keeper, nice little keeper fish. All right, I hear you down here. Hell, this one's a little better. I might 
my hand just not quite big enough. Oh, getting a fish there. Are you actually going to bite a headpiece? Yep, come on, take it. Got my hands full. Let's see. I don't know if this one. Be a slot fish or not? I don't think so, but no, nope. 24 inches on that one. Nice catfish. Thank you. All right. I like it. I like it. I'll get some more side pieces out there. That's for sure. Got plenty of bait. Caught bait last evening late. Man, I don't even have time to drink my coffee. Just cutting small pieces. Wintertime, usually smaller baits work a little better. Throwing the tail pieces away. We'll put the head pieces back in my cooler just for later. Man, what is it? 825. Those fish came quick. Just a little chunk. Got them just kind of spread out here along this channel. If I catch another fish, and it's on a side piece. They're all going to be side pieces. Oops, got to get the old bait off. Okay, we're rebaited. 827. Oh, there we go. Man. Oh, no. I don't know, as on the headpiece, I don't know if I'll just leave it out there or rebait it. I think I'll rebait it. I'm going to put a headpiece back on. That's what he bit. Yeah, he didn't get it. Probably should have left it. He sucked the guts out of it. I just happened to have some headpieces ready to go. Happy to get to use them. Just right through the eyeballs. That gum, that's a pretty good little bite. Just on the Carolina rig. Oh! Come out of that rod over, yeah. Coming right at me. There we go. Now I got a good set on him. Well, that's on a headpiece, so maybe they will bite a headpiece. Another small one. That's on the Demon Dragon. Demon Dragon and a headpiece. Getting a bite right there. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, it feels kind of like one I just laid in the bottom of the boat. All right, I'm going to leave it till I get this one out. I like this being busy. Boy, those B&M George Young Jr. hooks. Can't hardly get them out. All right. That's a headpiece. This one out here is a side piece again. Let's see what it is. Yep, yeah, about like the others. Yep, 
That's pretty good. That's five fishing. Let's see, I got here at 8.15, didn't I? It's 8.41. So less than 30 minutes, five catfish. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice little keeper fish. Like I said, I'm not keeping them, though. Probably should be. Man, that'd be a nice mess of fish. Okay, I need a side piece and a head piece. That's good. Use one full bait. I like it when I can use both ends. Sure, you can get that off there. This is on the old BM bomber rod. I love this rod. I mean, it is so sensitive, but got a soft tip for these little fish. It is perfect, and it'll catch a big fish too. Caught one right here in this spot about a week and a half ago, I think it was. Weighed 36 pounds, of course. I didn't have my camera. The one time I didn't bring my camera. But I got a picture of it. And I had a witness. So I got four of the B&M Bomber rods and then two of the B&M Elite Light rods, these red ones that I've got. Uh, I've got my floats on, my Demon Dragons. I have 40 pound trilene big game green mono on the reel. And then my leaders are made up of 80 pound triple fish mono. Uh, and that's my setup, either an eight aught or a nine aught B&M George Young Jr. hook. We've got a little mixture of those. Like I said, I've got three that I'm fishing Carolina rig style and three Santee Cooper style. We've caught them on both. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Yep. Man, I don't know. This rod over here's had a lot of action. I don't know if it's the location. There's a creek that runs up here to the left and so that main river channel goes out and then that creek mouth goes out. This is the closest one to the junction of that creek mouth and the main channel. I don't know if that has something to do with it. But I'll just keep throwing one back out there. Same size. Same size. Yep. Just throwing two ounces of weight on all these. Doesn't need a lot of weight. Less resistance when the fish starts messing with them. I like these little no-roll sinkers. It seems to me like they don't hang up in the stuff on the bottom as bad, and when you get them up, they sort of plain, I think, and stay up easier. There we go. Come on. You gotta commit. I got you, by golly. Yeah. You might not have committed, but I committed you. I quit, now quit. Oh boy, you ran straight at that prop. I 
I got him though. I got him though. He thought he could run a prop and cut himself off. But no. Well, I got him right in the top of the mouth too. He got a leech on him. Oh, leech. I'm gonna shed you of the leech. Just gonna help you out, old pal. Open your mouth. Boy, he barely had that hook in him. But he was chomped down on it. All right. What is that? Seven blue cats in 50 minutes. Oh, got one going here. Man, I got to tighten the drag on here. I'm not making any headway when I'm reeling down. There we go. Make that eight blue cats in 50 minutes. Coming right at me. It's all right, come on. I can keep up with you. Yeah, now you decide to turn. That's on a headpiece. That other one was on a headpiece. The last two, oh, he just came off. The last two have just been on headpieces. All right. I'm going to count it. I saw it. I think I got it on camera. That's eight. Eight fish in 50 minutes. Nothing wrong with that headpiece. I'm going to leave it on. Oh, there we go. That's that headpiece I just put out there. Got him. All right. So they're biting the heads about as good as the sides, it seems. Nine oh eight. Nine fish and about fifty five minutes. Weaving around my camera and my other rod. Just like all the others. Don't go. I really want to try some new spots today and kind of explore, but I just keep catching fish here. I hate to leave fish to find fish. Not catching much size, but I know there are big fish that wander in here because I've caught them here. These fish just wander around in this channel. Just got to wait for the right one. Yep. There we go. That's number 10 in 59 minutes. It's 9.14. They all look alike. Come on, where's old big dog? Headpiece. That's a little one there. Barely got him on the outside of the mouth. But I got him. Make a nice sandwich. For sure. All right, do I leave or do I stay? I think I'm gonna stay just for a while. It's so easy not to leave. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. All right, that's number 11. What time is it? 9.22. Boy, I hate to leave fish, but I've got a couple of spots I really want to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> All I got to do is talk about leaving, and they'll start biting. Don't leave me, Daddy. i got a couple of spots I'd like to go hit. I've caught some good fish in. I can always come back here. I think I'm going to just explore around a bit today, like I said earlier. It's such a beautiful day. 
All right. I think I'm going to reel them in and look around. Probably a mistake, but let's see. Stay with me. Whoo, she's warming up, folks. I'm going to be coming out of this jacket before long. Okay, as you can see, I hope it's just a big flat out here full of stumps. Right here, we're looking right into the camera, but right along this edge of these stumps here is that main channel right there. So we got varying depths from out there 19 feet in here to shallow, five, six feet. All right, folks, it's been 30 minutes. Well, we've had three or four little jabs and caught one little fish. Like I said, I'm going to just experiment around, look at some stuff I haven't fished before, so I'm going to leave and go to another spot. Oh, and that is why I don't ever turn the camera off till I'm gone. Oh, well, now that's out there in the deepest water. I'm fishing closer to the channel. I'm thinking these fish are a little deeper. I may be wrong. That feels like the best fish of the day so far. Pour right in the can, uh, right in the sun. That's why I don't turn the camera off till I have all the rods in the boat. It never fails. You get ready to leave and you catch one. I can't tell if I'm gonna need the net on him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get off that stump. Well, there he goes, huh? He feels like a pretty decent fish. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a net. He's not huge, but he's bigger than I wanna lift. I could probably get him without it. But I got a net here. Why not use it, huh? This is on the headpiece and the demon dragon. Tell you what, I got a new gripper with a digital scale on it. Let's just see if we can make it work. I hadn't used it yet. <clears throat> Man, that hook. Got him. Okay, get the net out of the way. I tell you, this enclosure is nice to have in the wintertime, but it's kind of a pain to deal with. All right, there you go. That's the best one yet. He's not all that big. Let's see how long he is. Yeah, he's barely in the slot. He's 26, 26 and three quarters. Let's see if I can figure out how to make my scale work. 8.5. That's, yeah, eight pounds and five ounces. Little slot fish. All right, little slot fish. Let's put him back. Don't splash my camera. All right, eight pounds, five ounces. Just as I'm reeling them in, I'm still going to leave. I'm still going to go. I'm going to stay closer to that channel, I think. We'll see. That was on a headpiece, demon dragon. Where was I? I was reeling them all in. That one didn't have any bait on it. No wonder. It's on the demon dragon too. At least he hit it and took it. Okay, last one. We're going to move. Stay with me.
Oh, got a bite here. See on there? Yeah, he done. Oh man, I'm running on a stump. Oh, no wonder. Dad gummit. Oh, I think he was on there for a minute. Gosh dang it. And that's one of my demon dragons, too. Mm. I would say I lost it all. There's a bite. Yep, I got him. I'll come out of the stump. Oh, it is thick in here with stumps. He was the closest one out to the channel. I'm not convinced these fish are up shallow today. Other people may catch them there, but that hadn't been my experience today. Boy, he's a little, little fish. Little blue on the headpiece. I may go right back where I started this morning. I've been experimenting, but Hadn't done much luck, or hadn't had much luck. That headpiece didn't hurt. Throw it right back out there. I don't think I'm gonna be here that long. Frankly. Broke one of my demon dragons off on that. Had a bite, it's behind the stump. Had to break it off, so I'm sitting here tying it on. When he hit. Put my little two ounce sinker on first, then put a bead on, and then I got my demon dragons all pre tied, snap, crimped, hook. So I just do a trilene knot what I call a trilene knot. Some of that line sprayed there. I'm going to cut some of that off first. Look at there. Bite on that same one I just threw out there. I hadn't even tightened it up yet. Well, I think he's there. Yeah, <laughs> same spot. I need to turn the boat around and be facing that way. Throwing right at the edge of the channel instead of back here in the flat. Oh, come on, I'm on another stump. Swim off of there. Oh, don't tell me. He's on there. Oh. He is on there. Oh, God. 
gosh dang it. But he's behind the stump. I don't know what to do with him. Other than just that, broke it off. I think that's a fish. It is a fish. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get one in. Broke this one off. Yeah, the hook saved my sinker. Let's see what I got here. My gosh, he's behind the stump. Oh, come on, fish. I'm gonna get out of here, folks. There's fish in here. I can't land them. I'm gonna give him line. See if he'll swim himself off. Go back to tying on my demon dragon. There's some fish up there closer to the channel, I think. Man, I'm having a hard time with them. Wet that a little bit. Cut that off. That one's ready to go. Get it in the rod holder. See if this one's swam his way out at all. Nope. He's still there. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think he's trying. Oh, come on. Slowly, slowly. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, he's still on there. Going right through the fork of a tree, I think. Oh, did he come loose? Oh, I tell you, you know, you can't, you can't really tell how big they are behind that stump. But he feels pretty good on the backside of that log. Oh, I think he just came free. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Over the camera. Around the broke off rod. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's better than a little bitty one. Got him loose. Grab the leader. Probably ought to net him, but I'm not. There we go. He ate the old side piece. He was patient, stayed with me. He was not coming loose. All right, let's see. Six pounds and four ounces. Six pounds and four ounces. Nice little blue cat. He hung in there with me, kind of scraping him up on the stumps, getting him in. There you go, buddy. All right, what an ordeal. Now, the question. I think the fish are more that way than that way. Do I pull all these in, reposition? That'd be the smart thing to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not that smart, but that's what I'm going to do. It came on a side piece, just Carolina rig. No float. I'm going to retie this one I broke off and then I'm going to move. All right, we've repositioned. I've got some inside the channel edge in the timber, I've got some out in the channel. So, 
you got a hodgepodge. We'll just see if we catch any fish. All right, I'm going to eat half of my chicken salad sandwich. Surely that'll get them to bite. That's a big bite there. Oh, come on. Oh, that feels like a better fish there. I knew if I sat down there to eat my sandwich, I'd get a bite. Works every time. I've just about finished with half my chicken salad. I thought I was gonna have to move because I was unmolested. But he bit just in time. All right, this feels like a better fish. Oh, he's pulling drag. Yeah, it's not huge, but it's bigger than what we've been catching, I think. Oh, he's on a stump down there, God dang it. Oh, come out of there, yeah. There are a ton of stumps. Yeah, he's about like that last one I caught, I think. Probably ought to use the net, but I will. I got it right here. Mike could get him without it. Might not get him in the net. There we go. All right. He bit. He bit good. I like it when they bite good. Yeah, I could have probably got him without the net. Put him down there for a minute. Er, I hear him talking. I hear him talking. He's got good too. I'm having a hard time getting the hooks out of him. I guess that's a good thing. You don't want the hook to fall out of him, that's for sure. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get up here in the sun. Yeah. See how long he is. Quit. He's, boy, about like that other one. I mean, he's, uh, I don't know if you can get the camera. He's 27 inches long. Just in the slot. See what he weighs. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Seven and a half pounds. That's what they weigh just inside the slot. All right, buddy, thank you. See ya. Well, I was just thinking about moving. Just finished my sandwich, half of it. What time is it? How long have we been here? It's 12 o'clock. I've been here 20 minutes. Didn't have a bite till that one. I think I'm going to pull them up and make a move. Try something different. Okay, I broke one off there at the end of the last set, so I got to rig one up, but I'm getting five of them out. What is it? 108. I'm going to fish for maybe till two o'clock. We'll see what happens here. If I don't get some bites, I won't be here that long. This is right where we started this morning. Yeah. All the cameras are shut off and I got a fish on. Okay, here we go. Caught one. All the cameras are shut off. I don't know what's going on. I'm sitting here messing with them and a fish hits it. All right. 
Another little one. Another one, about like we had when we left here this morning. Oh, got a bite over there. Here we go. Okay, having some camera issues here. I don't know if we got that last one or not. Caught a little one, had another, got another bite going right there. That was on a side piece. Hadn't really messed with it. I'm gonna throw it back out there. All right, we got everything set again. What is it? 115. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a good take down there. Is he still there? Yep. Caught up to him. Boy, he hit it and ran at me. Oh, he don't feel all that big. But he hit it good. I like it when they do that. Yep, just another eater. Another eater. Boy, this place right here is full of keeper fish. You're trying to get a limit to eat. There are some big ones in here too. I've caught them, but just not today. So far. So far. Nice little blue cat. Side piece. I like it when they hit it and run with it like that. There you go, buddy. Okay, folks, unless I get interrupted by one of these fish, I'm going to call it a day. It's 1.40. I need to pack up and go to the house. It's been a great day. The weather's awesome, unbelievable from mid to late December. Uh, slight breeze. I've caught a lot of fish today. I don't know. I've probably caught between, I don't know, 20 fish. Uh, around 20 fish or so. I lost count. Can't show them all to you or this video would take all day to show you. But uh, nothing real big. I think I had three in the slot and that was about it. So no big fish, but we caught a lot of fish and uh, had fun doing it. But uh, appreciate you watching my videos. If you've got any questions that I can answer, uh, go down in the comment section down there and ask me. I watch those. I try to answer them all. And uh, if you send one and I don't answer it, send it again because for some reason I didn't get notified of the comment or I just overlooked it. But I try to answer those. I appreciate you guys uh, communicating with me. Uh, if you got any tips for me that makes me a better fisherman, I'm always willing to learn. That's going to do it. I'm going to pull them in, go to the house. Thanks for being with me. Uh, if you like the video, you know the drill. Hit that like button down there. That helps me with YouTube. Uh, hit the share button. Uh, hit the bell. You'll be notified of future videos. But I do appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hitting that like button. Thanks for being here. See you the next time.